Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon. Mob Wives Rene Graziano points out R. Kicho and J. Biggest Flaw. Mob Wives alum Rene Graziano knows something about successful, but toxic, reality television. She was one of the original cast members on VH1's hit series Mob Wives. Now she's weighing in on some of Bravo's most popular TV shows. More specifically, she's giving her opinion on what's wrong with Real Housewives of New Jersey. So what did she have to say? Keep reading to find out. Rene Graziano weighs in on R. Ito and J. Cast Shakeup. Rene Graziano is a reality TV veteran. Viewers saw drama unravel her life on Mob Wives nearly 10 years ago. In a recent interview, she talked about the state of Bravo's RHONJ. As fans know, The Real Housewives of New Jersey is awaiting renewal. In fact, a number of The Real Housewives series spin-offs are in limbo. When it comes to RHONJ, there are whispers of a cast reboot happening. While viewers have been upset about the possibility of a cast shakeup, Renee Graziano said it could be just what the show needs. In fact, she thinks Bravo should get rid of an entire group of people, the men. Guys have remained a prominent part of the storyline on RHO and J, and Renee thinks that is part of the problem. What I would do is keep the men out of it. Leave the men out of it. It's called Housewives, Housewives, she said. Fans have shared this sentiment in the past. In some of the most recent seasons, Real Housewives of New Jersey has started to feature many of the women's husbands. There is enough drama happening among the ladies without adding their men into the mix. It's almost become a chore to tune in. That said, Rene Graziano said there is one man Bravo should leave on the show. Apparently, she likes Dolores Catania's boyfriend, Paul Connell. Leave that man alone. He just got here, she said during her interview. Who is leaving Real Housewives of New Jersey? She also thinks that Dolores is one of the nicest women on the show. If Bravo is shaking up the cast, Dolores should be protected at all costs. She is able to film with all of the women and doesn't have any major beef with anyone. Not to mention, Dollars played a key role in resolving the drama at the Rails Steakhouse meeting. Rene Graziano also weighed in on the major RHONJ drama, the broken relationship between Teresa Gudis and her brother Joe Gorga. While Rene says that she'd never be involved with Teresa, Melissa, and Joe, she hopes they find a way to repair their relationship. Unfortunately, the recent feud among the trio has solidified the fact that they won't film together ever again. Bravo producers are being pushed to pick a side in the feud, and it seems like they might be leaning toward Teresa Gudis. It is still unclear who will be returning for season 15 of RHONJ. Rachel Fuda has implied that she won't be coming back, but other former cast members have not said anything about their return. Reality TV isn't just about the glitz and glam, it's about the grit. Few know this better than asterisk asterisk Rene Graziano asterisk asterisk, star of the now iconic show asterisk Mob Wives asterisk, where drama took on a darker, rawer tone than most other reality TV. From the mafia ties that ran deep in her veins to the stark portrayal of family struggles, Renee's stint on television was anything but sugar-coated. Now, as an observer of other reality franchises like Asterisk, The Real Housewives of New Jersey Asterisk, Asterisk RHONJ Asterisk, Renee offers a perspective that cuts straight to the core. In a recent sit-down interview, Renee didn't hold back when she pointed out what she believes is Asterisk RHONJ's Asterisk biggest flaw. Asterisk Asterisk It's just not real anymore Asterisk Asterisk, she stated, a stark observation from someone who knows a thing or two about authenticity in reality television. She elaborated on how, over time, the asterisk RHONJ asterisk cast seems to have moved away from the genuine family dynamics and organic conflict that initially drew viewers in. Instead, the focus has shifted to outlandish drama, staged events, and exaggerated fights that feel more scripted than spontaneous. Hashtag 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 a different reality. Asterisk Mob Wives Asterisk versus Asterisk RHONJ Asterisk. Renee, who is known for her candid attitude and no nonsense approach, quickly made comparisons between Asterisk Mob Wives Asterisk and Asterisk RHONJ Asterisk. Asterisk Asterisk on Mob Wives, we didn't have to create drama Asterisk Asterisk, she explained. 
asterisk asterisk our lives were dramatic enough, there was real family history, real stakes, and real emotions. Asterisk asterisk, in contrast, she feels asterisk our show-nj asterisk has devolved into a show more concerned with flash than substance. Asterisk asterisk at the beginning, it was about family. It was about real relationships and the struggles between sisters-in-law, cousins, and longtime friends. Asterisk asterisk Renee said, referring to the earlier seasons when Teresa Gudis, Melissa Gorga, Carolyn Manzo, and Jacqueline Loreda held center stage. The drama felt personal and relatable, even when it was messy. But now Renee claims the show has become more about asterisk performing asterisk for the camera than living authentically. Asterisk asterisk it feels like they're playing characters now asterisk asterisk Renee added. Asterisk asterisk everyone's trying to be the next breakout star, the next viral meme, the next headline. It's all too manufactured. Asterisk asterisk. Hashtag 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 the scripted nature of reality TV. While many reality TV fans know that certain scenes are encouraged or staged for the sake of good television, Renee emphasized that there's a fine line between guided storytelling and outright fabrication. For her, the magic of asterisk mob wives asterisk was in its unvarnished honesty. The Graziano family's connections to organized crime were part of a world far removed from most people's everyday lives, but the emotional undercurrents, family loyalty, betrayal, love, and loss, were universally relatable. Asterisk, asterisk, we didn't need producers to tell us what to say or do, asterisk, asterisk, Renee insisted. Asterisk, asterisk, the drama was already there. When we cried, we really cried. When we fought, it was real. Asterisk, asterisk. According to Renee, that kind of raw, unfiltered reality is what asterisk R-H-O-N-J asterisk is now missing. Asterisk, asterisk, I watch the show now, and I don't believe half of it asterisk, asterisk, she said bluntly. Asterisk, asterisk, the fights seem staged, the emotions feel forced, and the cast members act like they're performing for an audience rather than living their lives. Asterisk, asterisk. Hashtag, 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 the evolving landscape of reality TV. What changed? Renee attributes the shift in asterisk R-H-O-N-J asterisk to the evolving nature of reality television itself. When asterisk the Real Housewives asterisk franchise first launched, it was a novel concept, inviting viewers into the lavish, chaotic, and dramatic lives of wealthy women. But as the years have gone by, the stakes have changed. With the rise of social media, reality stars are more aware than ever of how they're being perceived in real time. They're not just reality stars anymore, they're brands. Everyone's too aware of the cameras now, Renee observed. They're thinking about how they'll look on Instagram or TikTok instead of just being themselves. This is a sentiment that many longtime fans of reality TV share. The more self-aware the cast becomes, the less authentic the drama feels. Renee pointed out that even the conflicts on asterisk RHONJ asterisk seem tailored for social media moments. It's like they're all waiting for that one scene they'll get the most retweets or the most memes, she said. That's not reality TV, that's just marketing. Asterisk asterisk. The heart of reality TV, family, and loyalty. At the core of Renee's critique is a deep respect for family and loyalty, values that have always defined her both on screen and off. In her eyes, the early seasons of Asterisk RHONJ Asterisk had these values at their heart. There were genuine conflicts between family members, and the show was rooted in relationships that went back decades. Asterisk Asterisk When Teresa flipped that table, it was iconic because it was real, Asterisk Asterisk Renee said, referencing one of the most memorable moments in Asterisk RHONJ Asterisk history. Asterisk Asterisk She wasn't doing it for the camera. She was just fed up. Asterisk, asterisk. Now Renee feels the show has lost that authenticity. The cast doesn't seem as connected anymore, she noted.